on the St. Johns River. This is my first time here actually. Um, looking at the uh, map, I'm close to, uh, it says Lake Harney. So yeah, I, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into here. I basically just saw a boat ramp on the side of the road and decided to, to pull in. But it looks like a pretty huge river um, and lake actually. So not sure what exactly I'm going to do yet. If I'm just going to cruise up to the main lake area or fish this right here. Because I mean this, this looks really good right here. I'm almost tempted just to stop and start fishing here. Um, in fact, I might do that a little bit, so let's give it a shot. First time here in the St. John's. Pretty cool looking place. Like super natural. Really beautiful. And I kind of just hop around, I guess. We don't have a whole lot of time. I really just was cruising to Stick Marsh. And then I saw this place and saw the boat ramp and figured it'd be a long time before I ever get back up this way. So I might as well give it a shot. But looks really awesome I mean we got multiple different waterways kind of coming together right here just looks really good so I might just kind of fish this little little area right here and uh, and kind of see how it goes oh it gets real shallow well, I guess I won't be fishing here this is like mega, mega shallow. Six inches deep shallow. Uh, uh, all right, well, I guess I'll just throw the, the bait around here. That's what the guy said at the ramp too, is that it gets mega shallow um, anywhere outside the channel. And he was right. You can't see it because the water is pretty stained, but Basically, this point right here to where we're at is the ledge. And probably just spooked every fish around. But what the hell, we'll, we'll fish this little spot real quick. What a beautiful area. It's a damn shame there's all these guns blasting in the background. <laughs> I have this beautiful scenery here. We got guns blasting. <laughs> Oh shit, he got it right there. That was crazy. Nice. Little guy. 
All right, first St. John's River bass right there. Little one. I don't know if they're going to be up in these shallows, but you know, you got to try everything when you're in a new when you're in a new spot like this. this way I won't probably won't head too far from the ramp till that storm is gone but hey at least I got one fish you know that's encouraging you go to a new body of water sometimes you're you're always wondering as like is there even fish here you know like that, that question always goes through your head Right now, I'm just basically letting the wind take me down this river. And uh, I'm getting some really long, nice casts in here. Oh, that was a fish right there. Nice. Very nice. All right, well, there's definitely fish in here. That was another bite. I don't think there's much for current here. I think this is just more wind blowing me. You know, I have fished these canal systems back in Palm Beach. And one thing I, I can say, especially when the water is kind of dirty like this, is sometimes they they stack up, I mean, right next to those limbs. And, you know, sometimes they hang, like, right up under that stuff. And you got to get a jig or something up in there. That may be the case here. But right now, I'm just trying to cover a bunch of water. Like I said, if I knew they were here, I would spend a little bit more quality time and uh, and work this real slow. But, you know, part of me just wants to really kind of explore this place. But I'm a little worried now because there's a storm brewing around me. I can't tell if it's going to hit me or move away. kind of sucks. Man, that was a huge fish that just blew up over there. Wow.